The Treasury Department's watchdog is investigating allegations that confidential banking records related to a company owned by Michael Cohen, President Trump's longtime personal lawyer, were leaked, a Treasury Department official said. Rich Delmar, generate counsel for the Treasury Department's Inspector General, confirmed to the Washington Examiner that the Inspector General is inquiring into allegations that information from suspicious activity reports filed based on Cohen's financial transactions were improperly disseminated. Information about Cohen's bank records was made public by Michael Avenatti, a lawyer representing adult film star Stormy Daniels. On Tuesday, Daniels received $130,000 from Cohen just before the 2016 election to remain silent about an alleged affair she had with Trump. Avenatti posted a document on Twitter that claimed a company operated by Cohen, Essential Consultants, received payments from numerous companies beginning last year and into early 2018, including one with ties to a Russian oligarch. The document from Avenatti claims Cohen's company received $500,000 in payments from Columbus Nova, a U.S.-based affiliate of a company owned by Viktor Vexelberg, the Russian oligarch. Vexelberg was sanctioned last month as part of the U.S. government's response to Russia's election interference and other transgressions. Columbus Nova refuted that Vexelberg used the company to route money to Cohen and said it hired Cohen as a business consultant after the inauguration. Avenatti's document also said AT&T, pharmaceutical giant Novartis, and Korea Aerospace Industries paid essential consultations. AT&T confirmed Tuesday it paid essential consultations $200,000 for consulting work last year and hired the company to provide insights into understanding the new administration. Novartis also confirmed it hired Cohen in February 2017 and believed the president's longtime lawyer could advise the company on health care-related issues. According to Avenatti's document, Novartis paid Cohen's company nearly $400,000, and Korea Aerospace paid essential consultations $150,000. In an interview with The Washington Post, Avenatti did not reveal who he received the information about Cohen's bank records from. Financial institutions are required by federal law by to file suspicious activity reports on transactions over $10,000 if they suspect money laundering, fraud, or other illicit activities.